Well, this episode surely was a surprise to me, and maybe to some of you too. Being an episode after a perfect pair, it didn't disappoint. So, let's get into Fame and Misfortune. I never claim to be perfect, my mistakes are all written in ink. None of us claim to be perfect, and it's... When I first heard of this episode, I thought it would be a situation like when Twilight changed into a princess and everyone wanted to be with her and do whatever she was doing, helping Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle and Squirrel Woo being popular. But as it went on, we get to see that not all fans are appreciated of the main six. While it was a nice idea from Twilight, she never really told the ponies it was a journal, and not only a book. Some misguidance may come from there. But part of it is the fans too, yes, that includes us. Numerous times I've been saying some points shown in the ep in this episode, Fluttershy always learning to be a deep, Discord always learning that being different is bad, and also some other things Phantom has said through this journey. How Rarity couldn't act like that, how Applejack thinks everyone is family and she shouldn't act dishonestly, Pinky being the laugh master. The list goes on and we get the representation of it in this episode. I can say I felt immediately like one of those ponies, judging them just by what we see, never really understanding that yes their personality is funny, honest, sometimes exaggerated, but as the song says, and I think it was a pretty good song, they're not flawless, we can all have mistakes and we can all screw it up when we talk we do the perfect thing. We're more than just a cover. Yes, you could argue it's just Hasbro and DHX telling us to buck off and stop complaining, but they are giving us reasons to stay, to see these characters, to relate to them. As for example, some people think I'm just brains and I like to study a lot. Well, I sometimes like to have fun, go places, relax, and seeing that the main six were defending themselves made me think. How they could react to the fandom. It's okay, I got this, girls. <gasps> Listen up, I am more suited. And yes, it took me a while to get there. But can you honestly say that you could learn something one time and completely change who you are? I didn't think so. Mm, yep, just like that. At the end, we have these two feelings. These two friends who are fighting, throwing food at each other. And by the end of this episode, and thanks to Princess Twilight's lessons, to Rainbows, to Flourish Eyes, Rarities, Applejacks, Pinkie Pie's lessons, they get to be better friends, and their friendship is just blooming because of all the lessons they've read, because what they've learned from them. And I think this is the most important thing that this series as a whole, not the characters, not if uh, why isn't Celestia always there, why Luna is just hiding somewhere. It's not that, it's the fact that this series has changed so many people's lives. Not only the ones that do reviews, analysis, uh, covers, but also every single people in the fandom, every, every single people that just watches at least one episode, two episodes, maybe they get something good from that. And that's really important for the writers and that's this is the way they can say this is why we do this this is why we keep writing we appreciate all your, all your comments but this is the main reason we're doing it not for fame not for money not because we just want so toys obviously because there are worse stuff out there that is wanting to sell toys <clears throat> cars too so fame and misfortune learn anything from it did you enjoy it? Let me know down below. I'm Moon Knight, and I'll see you all later. Bye! Pony! Are Pinkie Pie and Applejack related or what?